Cortez, what's the status on the probe we launched? Tracking it now, Commander. I've confirmed that Leviathan's signal originates from this planet. Heard how, uh, Anne helped us locate it. It's pretty spooky stuff. Given the circumstances, what are we expecting to find down there? Bryson's team called it a Reaper killer. From what we've seen, it doesn't want to be found. It doesn't have a choice. We're here. Yes, but then what? If this is a Reaper, how can we ally ourselves with it? They are monsters, never to be trusted. Nobody says we have to be friends with it, but if this thing has the rest of the Reapers worried, then we need its help. Commander, new readings from the probe. It's narrowed down Leviathan's location. You're not gonna like it. Let's hear it. There's nothing but ocean. I show a concentration of structures floating on the surface, but the probe's giving us a signal below that. Way below. Underwater? Looks that way. The shuttle should still be able to reach it. That's possible? The Kodiak is spec to nearly a thousand atmospheres, but I've never actually tested that. Guess we're gonna find out. Status! Some kind of pulse hit us! Systems are shutting down! Brace for impact! Everyone all right? How's the shuttle, Cortez? Checking now. I'll see if I can get power restored. Co Be that. We'll look around. Look at all this. Whatever that pulse was, we're not the first to get hit. Could be Leviathan's last line of defense. Any idea how old these are? Old enough not to stink. Artifacts. Explains why no one gets out of here. This is a place of death. Those ships look like they've been drifting for years.
Captain! Swapping out the parts, Commander. Hang on! Nice work, Commander. But there's a development. We need to talk. Status. Shuttle's a mess, Commander. That pulse knocked it right out of the air. We're not going anywhere. The Normandy could extract us. Same thing would happen to her. And the landing won't be as pretty. I'd say Leviathan has some sort of defense system in place. And we aren't getting out of here until we find it. So how do we do that? Well, you might be able to use a mech. Looks like it's rigged for diving. A diving mech? It's a Triton model. Military grade, repurposed for deep sea exploration. As long as the seawater hasn't corroded, it should be good to go. I'm game. We chased Leviathan this far. Let's finish this. It's a long ways down. Not gonna sugarcoat it. I hear you. And time's wasting. Wait a minute. Are we seriously considering? First, we'll need to restore power to get that cargo door open. How? It appears we are. These old Ballard-class ships are equipped with exterior power sockets. They use them for emergency repairs. We can strip the cells from the shuttle and use those for juice. Hang on, I'll get you started. Got a cell for you, Commander. Find somewhere to plug that in.
Another power cell for you, Commander. Here they come. Get another power cell, Shepard. We'll hold them off. I need to get in the water before they come back. Roger that. Walk the mech back to me when you're ready to dive. I should check it over first. All right, Commander. Let's get you out of there and I'll do a systems check. Commander, risk is rarely a hindrance. But this plan, even I would hesitate. We've come too far to stop now. The way home is through Leviathan. Okay, seals check out. Oxygen pressure is nominal. Systems are a go. It's as ready as I can make it. Let's go. Take care down there, Commander. Closing hatch. Engaging systems. Ready. Testing comm link. I read you. Here goes. Commencing dive in three, two, one. Shoot holding up, Commander. Looks good so far. Good. Getting some calm air here. Copy that. Cortez? Cortez!
Not sure if you can read me up there. Looks like I've finished the major descent. Can't see much from here. Suit is holding up. Emergency systems have come online. Life support operational. Scanner indicates the probe is below my position. Go for a way down. Shutting down all non-critical systems to preserve remaining power. Not sure how much juice the emergency thruster will need to get me back to the surface. Can't worry about that now. Getting some strange readings from the probe. Something is definitely down there. Reading the probe directly below me. Looks like the final drop. See anything just yet? <clears throat> Found the probe. Seems intact. I'm going to keep moving. I need to know why. They are the enemy. One that seeks our extermination. But... I thought you were a Reaper. They are only echoes. We existed long before. Then what are you? Something more. happening.
Yes. You took down a Reaper. You could help win this war. Why the hell are you hiding down here? There is no war. There is only the harvest. Then help us stop it. None have possessed the strength in past cycles. Your own species could be destroyed with a single thought. But you are different. I have witnessed your actions in this cycle. The destruction of Sovereign. The fall of the Collectors. The Reapers perceive you as a threat, and I must understand why. Before the Cycles, our kind was the apex of life in the galaxy. The lesser species were in our thrall, serving our needs. We grew more powerful than they were cared for. But we could not protect them from themselves. Over time, the species built machines that then destroyed them. Tribute does not flow from a dead race. To solve this problem, we created an intelligence with a mandate to preserve life at any cost. As the intelligence evolved, it studied the development of civilizations. Its understanding grew until it found a solution. In that instant, it betrayed us. It chose our kind as the first harvest. From our essence, the first Reaper was created. You call it... Harbinger. How did the Intelligence defeat you? To find a solution, it required information. Physical data drawn from organic life in the cosmos. It created an army of pawns that searched the galaxy gathering this data. There was no warning. No reason given when they turned against us. Only slaughter. Only the harvest. You built that machine despite what you saw the other races experience. Why? You cannot conceive of a galaxy that bends to your will. Every creature, every nation, every planet we discovered became our tools. We were above the concerns of lesser species. The intelligence was envisioned as simply another tool. And now we all pay the price for your mistake. There was no mistake. It still serves its purpose. How did you remain hidden all this time? Our extermination was not complete. Some survived and found refuge in the dark corners of the galaxy. I am their progeny. Over the cycles, the thrall races were controlled, removing traces of our existence as we directed them to. In this way, our survival was kept secret from the Reapers. Today, we reach out through the fragments and watch for discovery. Fragments? You mean the artifacts we found? They provide a window into the galaxy. Tools for exploring the events of this cycle from the safety of this world. Through them, we watch, we study, and remain in the shadows. Tell me about the Reapers. Each harvest ends with the birth of a Reaper, perfect in its design, each formed in Harbinger's image. Our image. Each Reaper has the power to influence organics. Over countless cycles, this ability was refined, perfected, and gave rise to indoctrination. But what's the point? of all these harvests. The intelligence has one purpose. Preservation of life. That purpose is not being fulfilled. It directed the Reapers to create the mass relays, to speed the time between cycles for greatest efficiency. The galaxy itself became an experiment. Evolution its tool. Will it ever end? Until the intelligence finds what it's looking for, the harvest will continue. 
Do you know anything about the device we're building? It's supposed to be a super weapon. We have watched its construction before. It has never been completed. Those who have tried still fell victim to the harvest. Its outcome is unknown. Okay, you made your point. Will you help stop the cycle? I have searched your mind. You are an anomaly, yet that is not enough. Wait! The cycle will continue. No! You've been watching. You know this cycle is different. We will survive. You will remain here as a servant of our needs. The Reapers will harvest the rest. You release me, no one has to be harvested. Nothing will change. You're responsible for this. Every race that's ever been destroyed is because of you. And now the Reapers will destroy you too, unless you start fighting. Even if you survive the battle today, the Reapers won't stop, ever. Release me and we have a chance to end this once and for all. I've earned it. Out there fighting where you should be. It is clear why the Reapers perceive you as a threat. Your victories are more than a product of chance. We will fight, but not for you or any lesser race. We were the first, the Apex race. We will survive. And the Reapers who trespass on this world will understand our power. They will become our slaves. Today, they pay their tribute in blood. Reaper inbound! Shepard! Goddess! She's freezing! 
Commander, I finished reading your report. The Alliance wanted more intelligence on the Reapers. I'd say we got it. Our people will be studying it for years to come. They're already calling it the Leviathan Codex. It rewrites galactic history as we know it. Whatever else it means, it tells me the Reapers had a beginning. And maybe now we'll provide them with an end. That's one way to look at it. I guess it's the only way. So go out there and make it happen. This is a big step in the right direction, Shepard. Good work. Thank you, sir. Hack it out. Yes, Commander? That's all. Of course, Commander. When this war is over, I hope we find every race that sat back while we bled and get some payback. Yeah, that's a great plan. Follow war with more war. Commander? Commander? So the Reapers did not fully exterminate their creators. That suggests they are fallible, even on large or long-term scales. Everything okay with the shuttle? Just double checking the inertia dampener coils. Can be twitchy in these UT-47s. But don't worry, this bird's been rock solid. I always see you down here working your ass off. Ever take any downtime? I get my sleep, Commander. Flying tired is nearly worse than flying drunk. What about your waking hours? Any R&R? &R? I need to keep myself busy. Otherwise, well... Too much time to think. I appreciate your dedication, but I don't want to see you burn out. I know my limits. I wouldn't take a chance with your life. So before this war, you must have done something to relax. Sure. I remember back when the Hawking was based out of Arcturus and I was just a fighter. There was this observation deck overlooking the main flight paths. You could watch every ship taxi in and out. When I was alone, I'd turn off the auditory emulators and just watch them drift by in silence. You know, there are views like that on the Citadel. Next time we're there, you should take some shore leave. Clear your head. I don't know. Maybe. I'll pull rank if I have to. Take some R&R &R next time we hit the Citadel. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> 